To create a mask and flash, you just simply add a layer and draw out the object or the item you want as a mask and right click on the layer and select mask. To create a mask in Toon Boom, what we're going to do is we're going to add a drawing layer and we're going to create our shape. So I'm going to simply draw out a shape here. Let's go ahead and fill this. I don't have automatic fill turned on, but you can have that turned on as an option. And I'm going to call this our mask for now. It's simply circle mask. And the next thing I want to do, let's go to, I mean, you're going to add a mask layer. Now the way masking works in Toon Boom, what we're going to first do is we have our image on the bottom here, which is just this ping file I brought in. And that is going to be the image that we're going to mask. So that is pretty much the star of our show. That's the way I like to remember it. So I'm going to simply click and drag this directly on top of the star icon. Now, as for the actual mask that we drew, we're going to click and drag this directly onto the mask icon. And what we have now is it has cut out a circle right in the center. Now, the advantages of using Toon Boom is we can go here and we can double click on the mask and we can tell this to invert it. So now we actually have the image inverted. And that's how to do basic masking in Toon Boom. To do more advanced type of masking, we're going to do a mask that has a gradient in it. So the actual colors are actually going to fade to transparency. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much have our little, we have our little sketch here. And this is just uh, from a movie that I really, really like that I'm not going to mention. So uh, we're going to add another drawing layer. And we want this to be our mask. And I want this to be a gradient mask. And I'm just doing this, writing this out, so I'll have my own personal notes here. And for this drawing layer, I'm going to go ahead and grab this nice little rectangle. And just kind of fill this out here. And for the fill color, I'm going to create a new color. Let's double click. And this is going to be our fade underscore gradient. All right. And let's click on gradient. And what I want to have happen is right here, it's very solid black and the end it's solid black. Uh, the last one, I want to actually have it go all the way to pretty much doing alpha all the way down to zero. I'm going to add another color here and this is still black and I want to bring this up a bit as far as the transparency so it fades out right at the base okay and I'll go ahead and close this window and let's grab our paint bucket and I'll click to fill this let's undo that real quick uh, make sure we are selecting the right color let's go all the way down here so paint fill still set to black. Let's click on our fade gradient and I'll click to fill. And it's a nice gradient, but it's going the wrong way. So what I want to do is go up here under my contour editor and come down to edit gradient and texture. I'm going to click here and let's rotate this. Okay. And I think that's about exactly where I want it to be. I want them to kind of fade all the way out at the bottom. So have that set up. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click this large square here. Let's get rid of, ah, let's go to our select tool and we're going to select the stroke around the gradient and just press delete or backspace. And we're going to come down here to our adding layers and we're going to add a mask layer and the sketch is the star of our show so we're going to drag that straight onto 
the star part of the mask, and the gradient, this is the actual mask. So we're going to drag this directly onto mask. Okay. And right now, nothing is showing up. So I'm going to simply double click and we're going to invert this. Now, right now, our background, we haven't drawn anything on the background. So when we render this out, our background would be black. So our character's black. So that's going to be a problem to actually show what's going on. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a simple little color card here. And it's the default is white, so it's going to give us a white background. Okay. So we have our mask set up, but we don't see any transparency yet. And what's going to happen is once we render this out as an SWF or an MOV, you'll actually see the transparency. But to get a sneak peek, what I want to do is come down here and select render view. And now we see exactly how this would actually occur. And the cool part about this is, we could go in and do different types of colors. It's not just limited to black and white, but I want to just do this to show you exactly what you could do as far as adding a gradient and fading it out to a transparency using masking in Toon Boom Animate.